the seminary and posters came out, we told everyone, find a prominent place to display it in order to promote prayer for our seminarians and for priestly vocations for the Diocese of Dodge City. So how could I possibly complain when I recently visited a parish in our diocese, one that will remain unnamed, and found this can't miss bulletin board. Then I got to thinking, well, I guess there are other signs that could be even less fortunate to find above our poster. A sign like push to enter. I'd rather we encourage. Or please spit out your gum. Hopefully not on the poster. Or emergency exit, which I presume refers to the door and not the seminary. And yet again, not responsible for accidents could correctly summarize God's role in a person's vocation. God knows from the beginning of time who he wants each one of us to be. He doesn't change his mind, nor does he ever say, wow, if I knew you were going to turn out like that, I never would have made the plan for you that I made. No, God wouldn't say that because his plan for us, our vocation, is not an accident. If God wants a man or a woman to enter into marriage, then he has always wanted it, and he always will want it. Similarly, if God wants a young man to become a priest, or a young woman to become a consecrated religious, then he has always wanted it, and he always will. Is it possible then for a vocational decision to be an accident? In other words, if someone doesn't choose to follow the path God set out for him or her from all eternity, who's to blame? Well, I propose that there are two possibilities. On the one hand, if I know who God wants me to be, but I choose something else because I think I know better, or because I'm drawn by materialism, or pride, or selfishness, then I'm at fault for that. Or even if I don't know who God wants me to be, if I have the opportunities to find out through prayer and discernment, and I choose not to take those opportunities, then I'm at fault for that too. Acting against God's will is no small deal. In most of these cases, I would dare to say that the appropriate word is not accident, but sin. On the other hand, if I choose a vocation that is not what God designed for me, for example, I choose to marry when God made me to be a priest, and the reason for my choice is that no one ever presented to me the possibility or that I considered the possibility and someone discouraged me from pursuing it, then in a sense, my decision could be called an accident. I've made a decision based on fear or ignorance that I couldn't overcome. Now, it's still a decision contrary to God's will, but the blame, even sin, belongs to the person who didn't encourage me or who actively discouraged me. And Jesus says to his disciples in Luke 17, things that cause sin will inevitably occur, but woe to the person through whom they occur. You know, I'm so proud of the parishes, schools, and families that have displayed our seminary and poster and done so many other things to promote vocations to the priesthood and the consecrated life. If each one of us does our part to be open to the voice of God, if each one of us does our part to encourage our children, our siblings, and our friends, then we can confidently say that we are not responsible for accidents.